Welcome to the Let's Go Ricky Roll podcast. That's Ricky Romero, former Major League Baseball player with Toronto Blue Jays, the pride of East LA. I'm Bethel Duran, your host. And as always, Let's Go Ricky Roll podcast in conjunction with 101cider.com. Get your cider. Today's uh, one we got out here is well, Sunlit Hops and Grapefruit. I'm going to try this a little bit later on in the show. <laughs> Last episode, I did the rose. Rose was all right, 6.9%. It got me going. You're an investor in it? Rick, I'm going to start buying some of this one-on-one side. Do it, man. Do it. All right. So thanks a lot for everybody who watched the first episode of the Let's Go Ricky Roll podcast on YouTube. And make sure you rate review on the actual podcast. Let people know we're doing this. And Rick, when we start thinking about what's going on, everybody's always asking me, and I kid you not, what does Ricky think about the Astros? What do they do? Everything is this and that. Because as a former player, you Mm -hmm. got some great opinions on it. So let's get straight to it. We're not going to throw anybody under the bus. We're not going to say any names. Well, Ricky's not. I am. Uh, but I was one who was very skeptical of all the reports that were coming out in the very beginning about this because mm-hmm. having been around baseball, even though I don't cover baseball on a daily basis for the last couple of years, having seen uh, cameras were starting to get involved, yeah. and especially at Dodger Stadium, Angel Stadium, not what teams were doing, but you just started seeing more cameras everywhere yeah the technology definitely advanced right here your phone yeah, yeah. your phone it advanced big time from like when i got done playing when i was out of the game and till now it's it's crazy like the amount of ipads you see in the, in the dugout you know and and the amount of information you have nowadays it's crazy it's crazy um but as far as the astros i think they went a little bit too overboard with it okay let's and, start backwards okay yeah. before we get to all that other stuff and Right now, it's March. Mm-hmm. We're going to go back from March all the way back to the World Series. Let's just go a little bit back. I want to get your mm-hmm. initial reactions to this. Mm-hmm. Right now, the Astros, who were Major League Baseball, found that they were cheating with technology, are getting booed at every single spring training game. Yeah. And Fair? Can, oh, yeah, absolutely. And can you imagine now, once the season starts, it wouldn't surprise me if they get booed by their own fans. Really? <laughs> I mean... It's just, it's the example more than anything, you know, the example, what, what, are you, what are you teaching, you know? I mean, it's one thing, like I said, to to use it, some of it to your advantage. I think there's been, you know, a few rumblings here and there that teams, other teams were doing it, but not to that extreme. And I think they just, like I said, they, it was like teams are doing it here and there. And, you know, for me, it's a difference when you have a runner on second base and you're stealing signs and you're trying to look into the catcher, trying to pick up the, the sequences. But... When you're going to another level of it and you know exactly what's coming, it's it's unfair and at the same time it's dangerous. You know, these are these guys are big league hitters that know how to control the bat and dangerous for a pitcher. You know, what a fastball down the middle or whatever and, and the line drive back at you and knocks you out of the game, knocks you knocks you out of out of your you know, you can be it could be career ending and, and there's a lot of things, like I said, you know, the from from guys losing out, um, getting sent down, you know, yeah. and, and other guys. We're going to get all in, into all yeah, that it's, stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just, it, to me in the end, it's just, it was bad. It's bad for baseball, and, and, and I know a lot of guys have been critical of it, and they should be. Um, even, like, you know, reading that that game five, I think, where Clayton Kershaw threw all those off-speed pitches, yeah. and they didn't swing one time. Yeah. That is crazy, man, because... The best, one of the best pitchers on the planet in yeah. of this generation, and guys are laying off of it. Like and that. and the worst part is he are, he's already taken some heat huh? for 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 not pitching well in the playoffs, and then to have that happen, and then take all the criticism that came with it, and then this comes out. It's like, I mean, I I felt bad for There's him. I, I sympathize for him because I was a pitcher, and if you you're sitting there and you're throwing a curveball and you're throwing nasty curveballs, and you're like, you, you know, even you're when I was playing, and and they they. You threw a good curveball and then you get the ball back and you're like, how the hell did he not swing at that? You know, and and like I said, no. One thing to have discipline, another thing to be yeah, like, and the cheat code. That that's like Let another level. Okay, like I said, we're gonna go backwards, get into all of that. But if you were a free agent right now, mm-hmm. and the Astros signed you, and you went to spring training with this team, and you weren't involved, like. What? How? That's not fair to you because you're part of it now, right? Yeah, I mean, think about it. If yeah. you're in that clubhouse and you weren't in the, with the organization before, yeah, no, how crazy I mean, is that? if it was the only team that was offering me something, damn right, I'm gonna take it. What if there was other teams? I mean, it just depends. It depends what uh, if, what the situation okay. was, and 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 if there was a possibility for me to be. In but you that would rotation. think twice against them. Uh, I don't. I mean, 
at the end of the day, I mean, like I said, I wasn't a part of it, so I would be able to go to, go okay. to sleep at night and and obviously being part of that team, whoever just signed and is going there, they're gonna have to wear the booze and this and that. But you know what? But knowing I, that I, you but, don't have a guilty but, conscience, I guess. Yeah, 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 and and it's it's crazy because a lot of like the reliever part, the relievers of those teams are like we didn't. We, some of them. Well, we know some of them. Yeah, yeah. and so, they were telling but, us that they didn't happen. They well, didn't know what was going on. Yeah, because you're in the bullpen. I mean, a lot. I mean, like I said, when you when you're in that big league clubhouse, you you have different <laughs> like little tribes. You know, the the bullpen hangs out with the bullpen and they do their own thing. And 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 you know, I, at the end, I mean, the, the pitchers are not really to blame for this. It was the hitters who were doing it. <laughs> so that's okay. That's a good point though, because some of the people that have been talking are the pitchers who are like, "Hey, I wasn't involved. Don't yeah. accuse me of anything. Yeah. I still got my ring. I got my bonus, but." I thought we were on the up and up. Like yeah. you, you hear stuff, right? Yeah, but you don't know everything. Yeah. And everyone likes to say, like, "Oh, like, um, I don't know." Like, I wish I would have stopped it. And it's like, well, I mean, it's too late to say that because at the time it it was it was. Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have had that eight tequila shot. Yeah, but. like it's just it, it happened, and and I think I think what people are most mad about is that they really haven't came out with the with the real clear apology those those statements that were read yeah. it were kind of i think they were statements they, they were, were pr statements yeah, they were written they were, by a pr firm and everyone you know i mean uh, guys like to point out like the, the, alex, the alex bregmans of the world you know how how talkative they are on social media how active they are with 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 all that stuff and right now they're like really quiet about it yeah. and, and i think it was just like like i said um um there has i think the fans want to see sincerity and i think they haven't gotten that i think and and, and i think um till they get that i feel like I, they're gonna get booed regardless well there's that account right astros uh something tour where like they're like astros asterisk account or something. there's a twitter account that every day is posting about what's going on in the spring <laughs> training when they're getting booed over and mm -hmm. over and over it's got like over a hundred thousand followers because of this you have to sit there and wonder if it's going to be if it's going to affect them you know, throughout the year and if it's gonna wear down it has to, right because you hear okay unless you you i mean like okay altuve right who's at the center of all this altuve who is a guy who had a great personality beforehand i, I remember talking to him when he come to anaheim mm -hmm. and he was always cool because you know when you're five six you have yeah. a different attitude he was all right but now quiet right yeah he spoke and then after that we haven't heard from him but He's a guy that really loved signing autographs for the fans, being involved out there. But now you see him signing autographs for Houston fans in spring training at their home games. But then a couple feet away, there's people just booing and booing and booing. <laughs> and you see him move away. Like that. Like somebody was yelling, I'll boo Vey at him the other day. I saw it on that Twitter account. And he thought it was, they were saying, I'll to Vey. So he waves it, waves at the guy and they all start booing him and he puts his head down like, yeah. It's only March. Yeah. And you gotta get no, it's 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 gonna last all year. Really? And, uh, and until they apologize, you think? But no, they're not going even, to. no. Even if they apologize, I think. I mean, you know, and and <laughs> you know, you've seen stuff on social media too, like, oh, they're gonna leave the league and and hit by pitches. But I don't know. I don't even know if that's gonna happen with the way the commissioner has mm -hmm. handled it and came out and said, hey, there's gonna be serious consequences if if that happens. And at the end of the day, I think you let it police itself. Obviously. Uh, you know, I mean, you, the game is it stays within those white lines to me. You know, and, what do you mean, police itself? Meaning, let the players kind of handle it. You know, and and I'm not saying they should they need to get hit every pitch, but you know, a lot of a lot of like I said, a so lot. So like every team gets to hit somebody. <laughs> well, because you're you're saying it's like how long? Yeah. It, how long before it's over? Yeah, and that's the thing. I I don't know. You because just let, if I'm no like okay, if I don't see them until July. Okay, but if. Interleague or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Okay, yeah. so the A's and the Angels, they get the first round. It's, yeah. And then? And then, I, I guess... Is it when do the Twins get them? Yeah, is it a free-for-all, right? No, I I, I mean... No, I, I mean, I'm not... I'm being no, no, no. Here, I, but it's like, if you're thinking about it, yeah, like, okay, I, you said we police it, but what? Yeah, like, like... Or if a guy who pitched... Okay, for example, for you, you faced them in 2006, 2017 when they were doing all that. And you don't see him again until this year. Are you gonna hit somebody? <laughs> you, you think about it. You think about it. Yeah, you'll think about it. Maybe you go back and see if you know, because they came out with all the 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 graphs that show where they stole the signs and what games they used the oh, the, yeah? the trash can or whatever they were using and where they used it the most. And I think that's where you go based off of it. So I mean, they were done it to you. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, they're taking money out of your out of your pocket. You know, let me ask you this, Rick. I mean, it, when it comes when it comes down to it, this game is about putting up numbers. You put up great numbers and all that stuff, it's going to reward you with nice contracts. That's just the base of it. You're going by that. How many guys? I think there was a, a report that came out. I think it might be four or five guys who that happened where they get shelled, get sent back to Triple A, and that's the other, and they never came back up. Yeah. Because That's, of the, I mean, obviously there's probably other factors too, yeah. but you're getting ripped and you never go back. Yeah. I, I mean, that's, that's, that's the shitty part about it. I think where, like I said, you, you mess with people's careers. You really do. And, and, and some of these guys maybe never, maybe are retired now and it sucks, man. It, it sucks all around. And yeah, I mean, you could say, let it police, police itself. And then you sit there and wonder, and you say that and you're like, like you, you told me right now, we were like, well, do they get hit every series or every game? Like, how does it work? So, and I mean, I think I th get hit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you <laughs> you have to pinpoint the the top four in that lineup. I mean, from Springer to Altuve to Correa to um, who am I missing? Bregman. Bregman. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. And who else was part of JJ? Uh, Josh. Uh, Josh Reddick. Josh not Reddick. J, not J, JJ Reddick's a basketball player. But Him too. <laughs> <laughs> but. You know, I, I I just yeah. I mean, you have to sit here and wonder like, how would it? How what's the proper policing itself when it's a scandal this big? I mean, I'm sure the Yankees want like want yeah. a piece of them. You well, know, you heard like, CC in his podcast, yeah. Like, RTC too. Yeah. Like, man, fuck those guys. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and 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 like I said, didn't he say like, yeah, there's 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 stuff going around baseball, yeah. but they went way over. I think all right. I've never been on a professional level, but just being around a little bit, you hear of certain teams that have a certain advantage. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the Houston Rockets were one of the first teams that you would see during warm-ups, players would go shoot, and then they'd have the video guy with them, and he has the iPad right there. And they're like, I think it's like 14, 15, and I started seeing some of this. I'm like, normally guys come out and do the shooting routine, but then there's a, a coach there with the iPad, they're doing this other stuff, and they're doing different analytics, and basketball's different. I remember seeing some of that stuff. In baseball, you started hearing guys that, we're doing more video stuff yeah. during game. Yeah. In the past, that, that, it used to be go look at it, but now it's all the time. Yeah. But well, now you want, now well, you know why. They, and I think they came out with it. They're thinking about maybe eliminating all, all of, of te technology. And yeah. you just, I mean, which at the end of the day, I mean, I think somebody came out and said, uh, maybe JD Martinez says, what is the DH supposed to do? You know, like, I like to go in and watch my at bats in between innings. Well, you and, lost. It's like a parent. Well, you but had then, it, but I take it away. But then you think about, how it wasn't the the old school way when there was no video. These guys were sitting there watching I was the like game. Ten years ago, <laughs> like 10, 15 Come years on, ago. man, I'm not that old. But you, you know, um, okay, when you play the like late two thousands, early we go inside and watch video. But it was a few guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, some some guys like to go and watch their yeah. bats. Other guys don't. You know, they just like to go by the feel of that day. Um, pitchers too. Sometimes I'd come in during an inning where I thought I made a good pitch, and I was like, where where was that pitch that that got hit for a home run and I'm and then you see it on tape and you see it in slow motion you're like ah okay it came back over the plate that's it that's all I would use that's all it was that's all we knew you know there was no like iPads in the yeah in the in the in the dugout and stuff like that so in that sense it's a bit different I don't see anything wrong with wanting to see an at bat but Perfect like I fun. said it's when you start taking advantage of the system well, and that's what they asked to be did. naive and say that teams weren't doing it everybody was doing something yeah I mean, but for, not on this level. For God's sake, when 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 uh, when I was in Toronto and we were blamed for, or we were they were labeling us as cheaters because they supposedly we had a guy in that center, a, uh, uh, dressed in white, who would give the signs to our hitters. <laughs> <laughs> is that the guy that would live in the hotel? No, there was that we never. It no, was, that was the story too about Toronto. Yeah, you know, in Toronto, there's a hotel, right? Yeah. That somebody would open the curtains. And they close the curtain. I mean, I've never heard so, that one. Yeah, that was years ago. Well, no, this one was like... You hear yeah. all these kind of stories. Yeah. In the past, you just laughed Oh, the, the Chicago White Sox were convinced, were convinced that we were cheating. Supposedly, they had somebody go sit up next to this guy, and this guy was giving all the pitches, and I'm like, uh, look at the standing, guys. We're, <laughs> we're in fourth place. <laughs> uh, JP likes to say it, too. Like He was like, I, w I mean, if, if somebody had the signs... They're assholes for not giving us a sign, you know? I mean, because I never got anything and I was hitting 200, you know? That's what he likes to say. So, 
it was just one of those things where I, you know, like I said, we, it was not true, obviously, and I was in the dugout a lot, and I talked. But that to goes to my point. That everybody's always been trying to do something forever. Right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, but we had, we had, we had. You uh, police your. Yeah, it, it, but it, Ooh, like good. I said, good it was guy like. It's one thing, like I said, when you do it within the lines. When, when you know, if, if you pick up a sequence of a catcher and you're like, hey, guys, he's going second sign. Hey, guys, he's going shake. That's us. perfectly fine, right? Perfectly fine. Because that's my fault for yeah. not messing. Okay. It's part of the cat and mouse game in that's baseball. Not, you, as a pitcher, did you ever have your signs picked? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, not even, uh, I mean. But you would change your signs? I, I would. I had a good. I thought I had a good system. So you didn't came, worry about it. I didn't really worry. But about you knew it other much. guys. Yeah, but I mean, there's time, and and now with limited uh, mound visits, it yeah. kind of sucks too. But you know, if you felt something, the catcher would come out right away. He's like, "Hey, uh, I think they got something," or that guy's been standing at second base for the past, you know, few innings. You know, he's been there constantly and for more than like, let's say, a guy fouled off. 10 pitches or whatever you end up walking them and first base is open that guy's been standing there the whole time and he's just been looking at your signs well so. you're taught to do that as a hitter so you kind of yeah. i coach jv baseball and i had a guy picking signs from the other team mm-hmm. to pick this and we gave him the signs away like yeah. here's a fastball here's all. Yeah. but that's because the guy was flashing one yeah. two yeah. like do better yeah but there was the technology is what gets everybody mad, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the use of that. Yeah, I think it's just like it's one. Like I said, it's one thing to have the technology and all the stuff, and 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 it's another thing to take advantage of it in the sense that the way that the Astros. I think to take it, advantage of it. Or take advantage of it. Yeah, that's the part that yeah. gets you guys yeah. right. Yeah. And the lack of remorse these guys are showing. <laughs> I mean, you don't see very much. It's like uh, we got a ring. All right, A Rod, you pitched against him. Yeah, a lot. Right, mm-hmm. he had got busted, mm-hmm. and he went on the apology tour. Mm-hmm. And to this day, he was just doing a spring training game. Yeah, day. he said something about it. And right? he still owns up that he messed up. Yeah, and I think that's part of the reason why A Rod has been welcomed back into baseball mm-hmm. as a player and now as a broadcaster. It's you messed up, but you owned it. Yeah, the and Astros, he, he didn't he offer his. Yeah, he gave his perspective that he was stupid about yeah. it. Yeah, but the Astros, it's well the the way the owner talked, the the. They gave the PR response that like a PR crisis firm would give you where you apologize, but you don't even know what you're apologizing for, mm-hmm. or you never say what's going on. Mm-hmm. I think that's what pisses a lot of fans off. Yeah, yeah. And I think, like you, like you said, A-Rod came out after many years of like denying and denying and denying, and then finally admitted, you know, and, and I think in baseball, you know, guys who, you know, went through the steroid era who got caught, admitted it in baseball Pettit. Uh, uh, Andy Pettit yeah and people and they moved on you know Andy Pettit is a legend in New York Barry and, Bonds yeah I mean he never got caught though but <laughs> he but he still is never got caught but everybody around him got caught and he's still like I didn't do anything yeah and just showed like we just just a jerk to everybody yeah and he's only walking in San Francisco yeah yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, A-Rod cleaned up his image, and you see, like you said, you I mean, see I wasn't him. an A-Rod fan, but still. Neither was I. <laughs> did, you, did you pitch well against him? I did. I did. Yeah, and I got to face him when he was going for his, what was it, like 600 career home run, or, no, was it 600? 600, yeah. Did he hit 600 or yeah. 500, whatever. One of those milestones, and it was cool because they changed the ball every time. Like, you throw one, boom, they change it. You throw one, boom, they change it, yeah. And it had like a little mark on it. Like okay, I, so when I you pitched at against them, knowing that they give you that special ball, were you like, "Man, fuck, I'm a." He, he's yeah, like, I mean, it was like, it was like, or like, let me walk him instead. No, hell no, <laughs> no. It was like, I'm gonna get him out. I'm gonna get him out. There's a cool picture I have. Dude, don't yell at me. There's a cool picture I have from that moment, um, where I'm facing him and like, like, cause everyone was going, "A hey, Rod, A hey, Rod" at Yankee Stadium. Oh, wow. And like he hit a pop up, a weak pop up to center, but when it goes up, you know the fans go, ah! yeah. And I like kind of looked up right away. I was like, no way. And I looked up and I was like, oh, okay, it's F eight. But it was cool facing him during that time because I was like, he's not gonna hit it off me. He ended up hitting it the next day off one of our starters. But yeah, I made sure I was like, I'm not gonna be in a in a highlight uh, forever. You, you don't know? want to be that guy. No. And it's a funny thing is um, when uh, the year I made the team out of spring training in 2009. That's the year he came back from that first suspension after admitting the, because he got suspended twice, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, he was coming back from that, that first suspension. And I faced him in Dunedin and he hit a home run off me. And I was in the highlights that whole, 
that whole for that whole week because they're like a rod comes back and he takes a young lefty out i wasn't i wasn't a name yet oh you were still a minor league no but um but he hit a home run off me that and you're on sports center for the wrong reason <laughs> so the hell no because now the you first game he came back he hit a home run and it was off me well like uh henry aaron his 715 was off al dowling like you know the names that you hit mm -hmm. it off of mm -hmm. so you're like hell no fuck that a rod I yeah and since that day i said he's never gonna take me deep ever again and but that moment when you're like you had that special ball right mm -hmm. so they give they throw out the one they mm -hmm. only have they toss it to you what are you thinking nothing i'm thinking he's not gonna he's not gonna hit a home run well, you, you had the scouting report too before the game right yeah like a rod's close to whatever but I, it wasn't even, to me against a rod honestly to me personally it wasn't even that i had to look at the scouting report i knew exactly what i needed to do and if i executed he wasn't gonna hit special ball or no no that yeah. you, you should have kept that ball i know i should have i don't know what i mean i think they take them though they ask them for they ask you for them if, even if, f8 yeah i don't even know I, well, I, I, throw I, in, man. Come I, on, I don't even i don't <laughs> even remember what i see that's my, that's how i am I, I i like collecting random stuff yeah oh important things now nah, give me the f f8 ball that's yeah. what i want to have yeah i mean no I, I i mean there's a lot of, like yeah after complete games they give you the ball i don't even know what happened to any of that i now looking back at it i kind of that's, that's one of the things i regret not collecting more stuff like that you know because i was like eh, whatever uh, whatever yeah whatever okay so you pitched in the steroid era right no not Tail really. end of it. no in the beginning 2009 but the be those were still some guys coming off of it though right you knew that you knew there were certain guys i did not 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 that i know of no 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 it, yeah. it wasn't the highlight of the steroid, but there was still steroid guys. Era was, was no, but I'm saying guys. When you were coming up in the minors, you were going through it where there were certain guys. There had to be a talk of it, wasn't it? Not really, because I think at, at that time, I mean, it was kind of minor leagues. Is, I mean, different. I think you get test. Uh, not that you get tested differently, but for I mean, me, yes, I, like, you weren't in the height of it. But there must have been some guys where you just know, hey, that might be. A, I got something a little different. No, maybe I no? was naive. Maybe I didn't think any oh. of the guys that I was with. Uh, Okay, so or so, let's just keep a blanket statement then. If you were going up against somebody you knew was cheating, and or, and then you're like, what the fuck, right? If you knew the Astros were doing something illegal when you're mm -hmm. pitching against them, and they get a hit off of you, aren't you be like, <laughs> like we've seen the videos of certain pitchers where they're like, they got our signs, right, and they change it up, and yeah. it's like, fuck, they got our signs again. Like, how do you do that? Man, I mean, it's just you just don't think to accuse them of anything. Now? No, then. If you were pitching in the oh, that. I mean, a lot of guys said they suspected it, so I'm sure there was, I mean. But you can't have it. You can't do anything without proof. I mean, didn't, uh, who was it? Uh, Trevor Bauer called him out like yeah. a few years ago, and everyone thought he was crazy, and now he's the guy laughing, you know, and obviously he's called him out, and he continues to call, call mm -hmm. him out along with the commissioner, so. Yeah, man, everything about it is sketchy, you know? I mean, it's just, it's it's crazy. I, I feel like we can talk hours and hours about it. And well, I, I've been at, I've, I've been asked about it a lot from from people close to uh, uh, close to me, you know, that, that know baseball and ask me what I think. And the first thing I just say is just it just went way overboard, you know? And it wasn't because, you know, because uh, analytics are so big. And it, it was just they decided to take it to another level. What do you uh, talk about with your former teammates? I know you have those talks too, right? What, like, forget the normal fan. Forget the group chat with a bunch of idiots. What do, like, the former players say? I mean, all of them are pissed. I mean, I talked to yeah. JP. I mean, he's, I mean. JP Arancivia. Yeah, and, and um, I mean, the, he's uh, he's spoken uh, he's spoken yeah. about it on, on social media and how shitty it was and. I mean, like I said, you you mess with people's careers, man. That's that's the biggest thing. Mess with people's careers, and you know, um, I guess World Series, you know, uh, some legacies that are tarnished over it. And if guys are gonna cheat on their own, whatever, right? You cork your bat. You got <laughs> different stuff going on yeah. in your hands. Yeah. But I, does it make it worse because it's a whole team organization? Yeah, I think so, and I think because you know it starts at the top. They knew about it, you know, and, and and they can say, oh, we didn't know about it. I didn't know what was going on. Bullshit. You know what's going on. Everyone knows what's going on. And, and uh, you know, and and like I said, even, I mean, sure, pitchers knew what was going on, but they were just like, you know what? We're not involved in any of it, so they got to do their, they're going to do their thing. And nobody's going to stop it, you know. Everyone, like I said, you can say, oh, yeah, I wish I would have stopped it, but what, what really who, what really are you going to stop? Hypothetically, if somebody were to say something in a clubhouse. 
I don't. Yeah, I, I've thought about that too. I'm like, so so let's say, you know, player X said, "Hey, uh, you guys, we need to stop doing this." What do you? Then I don't know. Are you the outsider? And they're like, "F you!" Like, we'll do this without you. What about if you're a guy with status, say a Carlos Correa or a Bregman? Then I mean, it was Bregman's first year, so. Oh, I was saying, a guy who have status like that. Yeah. Like you say, where well, you're an all star. You're if you say something, they gotta listen to you, right? <sighs> you would think. Because for the think. guys that come, I'm just saying, for the guys I mean, that come well, out and say that uh, Carlos Beltran was a bully and mm-hmm. he was making them do this, that's bull. Yeah, that is. I mean, I th- I feel like I mean, obviously, he Brian lost McCann it. was the first one to police you when you cross home plate. Hey, play the game the right way. Now he's quiet. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Like like I said, yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's kind of true. <laughs> like if you really want, if, if I, I mean, I've never been an athlete once again but if you're in a clubhouse you say something you better have a big voice right it can't be the 25th guy to say something yeah yeah like if you're the, the guy who's going back to triple a all the time like you would think yeah like we, they would have a team meeting or something and say hey um like you know said, I, hey i didn't like it i want to bring it up i want to bring this up you know like somebody like mccann who, who didn't like it apparently but hey it's better if we don't do this guys you know or something i don't know did they ever have meetings like that i don't know i mean but yeah, like I said, in all in in all this is just it's such a messy situation within the team. You know, obviously Beltran losing his job, Cora losing mm-hmm. his job, um, and um, I'm sure nobody feels bad about no. that in baseball. But like I said, it affected a lot of people. You know, whether it was within the organization and obviously outside of the organization with uh, with guys who played against the Astros during that time. It's it's just all crazy, man. And and everyone has a right to be pissed off at them. I, I don't disagree with that. I mean, it's 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 a shitty situation, and it's a the way they went about it is it's, it's been terrible. The thing that is shocking to me about this situation is that you have an entire baseball community all united against it. <laughs> you have players from all over the world all saying the same thing. How dare you? What's wrong? You can't get twenty. You can't get five guys to agree on where they want which bar to go to after a game. Yet you get the entire player organization to say, "F you, forget that. That's wrong." Yeah, yeah. You get people united. Yeah. So obviously you're cheating the game, man. I mean, that's what it comes down to. You know, you're cheating the game. Like I said, it's one thing to to do it in between the white lines. It's another thing to go way overboard. And I know I've said that word a lot today, but. But it's true. It's true. I mean, it's the perfect word to describe yeah. it. Overboard. Yeah. It, I, you know, as a parent. I mean, like, like I, like I said, I listened to CC's podcast, and he's like, they went overboard. They just went to another level. And, and the Yankees were a team that were getting accused of doing something too. Yeah. But yeah. The findings have shown that they were. They got yeah. warned. I think they. No, I think they got fined. Or Red Sox got fined. Red Sox, I think, because they had the Apple Watch. They had the Apple Watch. Yeah. So I mean, like I said, I, I'm, all, I'm look. I'm all for getting competitive advantage. If you want technology before you get in the game, but once you start the game, like if you have your signs and then we know how to pick them because we we started the videotape and today this is what we're looking for. But the instant in-game stuff where you make an advantage where you change your pitch, the first one, you change your sign and then they still got it, that's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. That's the fucked up part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the part where... That's dangerous. You said it. Yeah, it's dangerous and... <laughs> You're throwing good pitches. It's like know. home run derby. You, they're throwing good two o two pitches, and next thing you know, you're three two because they haven't swung at one of your off speed pitches. And you, as a pitcher, you're like, "What the fuck? This is my best stuff." Yeah. Now I get Kers- Kershaw yeah. getting like it, yeah, it's just I mean, I so understand. many different things. But you know what? He's handled it like a pro too, yeah. man. He really has. You know, he he's really hasn't came out and absolutely, and he has every right to go out and bash those guys. But you know, he's a pro's pro. I mean, he's out there. Yeah. He's working hard, and and you know, I mean, crazy. I mean. We'll see what happens this this season, man. But they don't play each other, so yeah. I mean, it would have been fun to have a series at Dodger Stadium with those guys coming in for interleague. You what know? about All Star Game at Dodger Stadium? Oh, a couple of Astros get Ooh. named. Yeah, you're right. Because I mean, each team oh, has to have a player. Oh, it's gonna be each team has to be represented. I mean, but what division. if it's uh, have they signed any? Like, what if it's uh. But the fans can Mike, move. What if it's a Michael Brantley who w- had nothing to do with it, right? Sorry, Mike. He's You're got, wearing yeah, the uniform. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's going to be interesting. No, I just, whatever you do, don't go to Angel Stadium and boom. if you're a Dodger fan. If you're a Dodger <laughs> fan, boom at home. Don't don't pay another organization money 
to go <laughs> boo them, all right? Wherever you go, just don't do that. So, man, that was good. All right, good little roll. Good little yeah. roll. 101 Cider is uh, Ricky's company that he's invested in. Today, I had the hops and grapefruit. I'm not even a uh, Taranja kind of guy, but this is pretty good. Oh, right? it's good, man. The Sunlit one's good. good. It's one of my favorites, yeah. Ricky, it's, like I said, it's he's gonna give me zero, zero sugar, probiotics in him. I don't have to work out today because this is a keto or keto, whatever friendly. It's vegan, non-GMO. <laughs> so this is my good pre-workout. I'm going to go on the beach and run right now. Uh, let's go, Ricky Roll Podcast. Make sure you guys listen. If you guys are new to the YouTube page or the podcast, we had season one. Go and check it out. Rate, review, let people know what's going on. If you want stickers, uh, don't hit me up. I haven't met any yet. But regardless, Ricky Roll 24 is on Instagram. I'm Bethel Vision. Thank you for watching another edition of the Let's Go, Ricky Roll.